Um, what was the other thing? My boss has just been chronically calling unemployment office because they only take phone calls to file during 8 to noon. Uh, that sucks. Hey, everybody! What's going on, Zwiggy? I miss the other people who are here because I was talking to the other Aaron. What's up, Cindy Cynic? City Cynic. Hope my mouth works today. Ellie, Chubby Unicorn, hello. Double the Aaron's, that's right. Check it out, everybody. I am here with Aaron Marsh. Hello. Aaron Michael Marsh. Aaron, so there is another There is another Aaron Marsh, and that's why Aaron goes by Aaron Michael Marsh. Right. Although half the time when I introduce him as Aaron Michael Marsh on the mics, at the end of the set, he goes, thanks, I've been Aaron Marsh. Yeah. So it gets very confusing. That's I'm true. I go back and forth with it all. Hola. I should really keep it consistent with one, shouldn't I? You probably should. Yeah. No, Tub toggle. Right. Hey, Street Spirit. What's the best icebreaker joke in your opinion? Um, well, jo I'd say the best icebreaker is just saying your name. Uh, the best icebreaker joke? Situational. What is this, the Four A's Club? Uh, you're right, John. John Enormous is actually a very good comedy writer. He's the one that came up with Sitprov. He's oh, the one that cool. came up with um, The Blockness Monster. <laughs> that's my favorite one Blocky Balboa I don't think he came up with Blocky Balboa but that's good it's choppy with no audio can is everybody else having that problem I hear you okay here no Leo Wells I love you no problem here either but uh, you know whenever one person has a problem on Periscope they're like it must be this guy's fault sometimes you just have to restart the broadcast that's all. Go out, come back in. Can comedians sit and enjoy other comedians' work as normal? That's a good question. What do you think, Aaron Marsh? No. I don't think that I enjoy it as a normal person because even when they're doing great, I'm watching it almost like watching game film. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like so like when a baseball player hits a home run, he doesn't enjoy it as much as the people in the audience. Yep. But uh, every now and then, if somebody can bring you to that feeling, you really love them. Like It takes a lot of extra work to get a comedian to feel like they're just watching and enjoying. And the funny thing is that some of the comics that a lot of comics think are shitty are actually some of those comics that you go, oh, you know what, now that I'm actually watching them, I see why they have like yeah. oh, it's 5 million followers. Yeah, I'm watching Solid Fundamentals. That's why it's like, it's almost like unimpressive to watch a guy who hits 280 with like a lot of like infield hits. But yeah. Comedically, you're like, is as a comic, you're just like, oh, well, that guy's just doing this. And you're like, no, way, he's doing the work. I've, I've heard that before, Levy, that I sound like Brian Griffin and uh, Seth MacFarlane. I don't, I don't hear that, actually, but... I hear the Seth MacFarlane, for sure. Um, uh, by the way, the classes are 300 bucks. Tomorrow, they go back to the normal price of 400 And that is um, uh, eight weeks of three-hour classes plus one private one-on-one uh, -on -one session. Somebody asked me, by the way, Aaron. I wasn't just normal. Oh, no, know. that's all right. Actually, I wasn't just saying. You can say what you like. Yeah, but uh, it sounds crazy if you just kind of, you know. What's up, Krisha? Guys, my name's Aaron Haber. I'm a comedian. I'm a comedy teacher. That's Aaron Marsh. Oh, He's almost. a comedian as well. And we're hanging out at World Comedy Studios where we do live comedy scopes every fucking day. So if you like comedy and you like beards, do it. Follow us here on Periscope. If you like beards, should not be your slogan. Well, everybody comes out and they're like, beard, eyebrows, hat, you can't teach comedy. <laughs> and I agree with three out of those four things. Oh, am I all right now? Uh, you were, but then oh, you kept okay. moving out of the... Sorry, I kept the moving. The best. Thank you. How you guys well. doing? Good to see you, Periscope. And that's where we used to live together in Chicago. I was pointing to your hat. Oh, yes. <laughs> we used to live with cubby bears. We Actually, we zoo. lived we lived like one block from Wrigley Field. Yeah, we did. That was pretty awesome, actually. It's, yeah, I still think about it. It's still pretty cool. That was a great apartment. It was a great apartment. I mean, it wasn't kept up the best, but the location was the best. Well, I was like 24, you were 18 or something. I don't even mean necessarily the apartment itself as much as the building itself. It was like, it was like an old building, but yeah, it was all right. it was. It wasn't that bad. Did you hear that the Cubs had bought almost all the rooftop buildings? Anyone that had like the seats, like the company is bought now. Uh, no, I didn't hear that. They bought three new ones today. Oh, wow. We don't have movie night here at World Comedy Studios, although we do have. Like, we're gonna do a Super Sorry, Bowl party video here. Game stuff. Yeah, we are. We are doing video game uh, broadcasting shit like that. But I, I think I don't know. Were you were you saying like? Do you do movie night like just comics hanging out? Yeah, I'm going landscape, everybody. Boom. Oh, thank you. Well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Just... 
like movie critiques about comedy. No, we don't. We don't really do that. Well, that'd be interesting, but I'm not sure. I mean, we've we've watched um, comedy specials here in the past and said, "Oh, that's interesting," and all that. So you never know. Maybe, maybe at some point we'll do that again. But I don't like it when critics try to be that funny when they're trying to critique something because it's like a that person put a lot of work into the art and it should be like commended without having to be a joke at the end because it almost undoes any commending you do. Hey, Albert. Albert is, uh, I think that's the Albert. That's, that's one of our new comedians here. Oh, cool. I hate landscape because I never know where to look. Hmm. What's up, dude? Yeah, definitely. Hey, Albert. Albert, three mics today. You can do them live or you and can do them. Errands. That's right. You, or you can do them on the internet. That's cool, dude. Don't worry about it. You do know Coop, though. Uh, Coop with the um, Immortal 5. Well, we have an 8 o'clock and a 9.30. Uh, Coop with the, um, uh, with the podcast. Steve Coop? I don't actually, no, I think his name is Cooper. Oh, okay. I'm working hard right now. You definitely are. Yes, sir. Yeah, Coop is taking a class, um, that starts a week from today. A week from today. A week from today. So they're going to be every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Nice. Starting on the 20th. We're going to nice. switch it off like 8? 630 to 930. 630 to Yep. Go White Sox. Hey. <laughs> Actually, we picked up another Chicago comedian yesterday who's White in Sox L.A. Gear. All White Sox gear. So my arch nemesis? It could be. He'll be off Periscope for a little bit, he says. Well, that's too bad. That's too bad. That is too bad. All right, going back to making you guys move your phones. I'm making you guys do exercise. Just to take the class. He's going to go off Periscope to take the class. Okay. Well, no. Hey, from Chicago. Listen to you on this uh, secret break room. Oakbrook. Nice. Well, thanks, dude. That's, uh, that's very flattering. I hope your job is going... I hope you enjoy your job. Hey, Sophia. Hey, Heco 3 a Guys, by the way, if you don't know what the fuck's going on, say something in French. I don't really know any French. Um... My name's Aaron Haber. I'm a comedian and a comedy teacher. And yes, you can teach comedy. And here is World Comedy Studios and my buddy Aaron Marsh. How you guys doing? That's why I double the Aaron's today. Mm -hmm. And if you like stand-up comedy, we actually do stand-up comedy every day here on Periscope. The next one's going to be at 3 o'clock. Although, at about 12 o'clock, we are going to do a... Um, we are going to do a... What? A podcast. A live broadcast of our podcast. Oh, really? Yes. Great. Yep, we're going to start doing that. I give me great advice about comedy. He's legit. Thanks, Albert. I appreciate that, dude. It's fun seeing my students like start to get it and get their stuff like way better. It's nice. All we need is Aaron Rodgers, exactly. And what other famous Aarons are there? Aaron Neville. Aaron Neville, that's right. Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter, yeah. Nell Carter. That's not Aaron. Almost. And she's no longer alive either. Elvis Aaron Presley. Kevin Hart was on Howard Stern yesterday. He was brilliant. Cool. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Everybody's like, do you like Kevin Hart? I don't know if Kevin Hart's like paying people to ask that or... I, oh, I don't know why... He's just that famous. I guess so. I, I think maybe because also he's on Periscope. is why people are asking on Periscope. Oh, that could be. He could be Hello, huge lovely. on Periscope. He is huge on Periscope. Well, then that's gotta be it. I guess that is it. And maybe. I do think that he is funny. Oh, yeah. He's hilarious. What about Louis C.K.? Hilarious. His special even tells you in the title that he's <laughs> hilarious. I mean, first of all... If you're a comedian and you're bad-mouthing other comedians, you're an idiot. Not hilarious. No. No. Because it's a small world. Even if you actually hate somebody, I don't know. I, I don't think there's a um, Tom Segura. Have you seen his new special? Tom Segura just did a special on Netflix. It's great. Oh, cool. I'll yeah, watch it. Tom Segura. I'll watch it. Uh, but even if you really don't like somebody, I don't know. I, don't, I guess you'd pick up some fans by being real rude, but you're not going to pick up a lot of fans of people booking you for shit. So... I guess maybe some people will. Unless it's super cool to lose work. If, if they think it's super cool for no one else to like you, right. then please do all of that. Right. Mm -hmm. Fuck that guy who sold out an arena. Fuck that guy yeah. who's booking comedy clubs. I need to open right. for a guy that I don't find exceptionally funny. No, wait, I don't care. Right. Yeah. Do you know that when you open for a comedian that is not your favorite comedian ever, the money that you make is actually less... Like, each dollar is only worth 50 cents. Mm -hmm. 
Can I make you funny? I can teach you comedy. Um, the rest is up to you. Is that your son? <laughs> I've got, I guess I've gotten to the point, because that's the second time in two days. Somebody asked me if Brian was my son yesterday. I think it's just because you got some grays in your beard. Yeah. Best advice I got from Better Comic was be likable. Yeah, because ultimately, other comics help you get work, you know, and people need to book you, unless you open your, play, uh, your own place, like World Comedy Studios. Um, best funny pickup line? You have one? No, I feel like all pickup lines are super cheesy. Oh, totally. And I'm lactose intolerant. There you go. There it is. See, the humor comes <laughs> out even when it, you know, you're not expecting it. That's the best kind of humor. What's up, Max? What's up, Zozo Cat? What server are you using for your podcast? To be determined. Hmm. I want to kill your parents. Best pickup line. It you depends. Know, it I might, that say, might work. They probably hate their parents, but that's also a bad sign for you. It depends on what you, do you like, um, really old Aaron or slightly old Aaron? I uh, am deceptionally older than I look. Right. Uh, Aaron is actually a Highlander. Mm -hmm. Being there, a cunning linguist, yes. There can only be one. Yes. I actually yes. have three A's in my name, so I would go first in your phone book. Hmm. Russian. Really old Aaron. Oh, all right. I, yeah, now, now, fan, I have to, buddy. now I have to look at your profile. Usually, whenever I'm on here with, with this Aaron, Aaron gets all the love. Well, yeah, but you know, you gotta look. Dakota. If she likes beards, there's no comparison. Well, that's true. So, excuse my ignorance, but what does a comedy teacher teach? Comedy teacher teaches the art and business of comedy. I help uh, people that are interested in comedy and comedians get their shit together, uh, figure out what they should be spending their time on, how to write, how to write better, how to create material, shit to do on stage, shit to do off stage, you get gigs. Blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I thought you taught molecular biology. You can't teach molecular biology. You're either born with it or you're not born with it. There's it, no, nothing to it. Exactly. Hey, Becky, what's going on? Becky is uh, taking my class as well. Oh, cool. Thanks, Becky. Yeah. Tell me a joke. Well, I'll tell you what. Follow us, and you'll hear a lot of jokes later when we actually do some stand-up. Follow me on Twitter at Aaron M. Marsh, and I have a lot of jokes up there. Yeah. I guess I missed your joke. Sorry. I, I Believe it or not... I don't read every single comment because there are a lot of them. The comics need a manager or an agent. It certainly helps, Albert. Just got home from work. Cool. I hope you had a good day. Follow my ass. You must be standing in front of me. Sure. Send me a link to your ass and I'll definitely follow it. Mm. I need a joke now. Well, the internet is full of jokes. Aaron without the beard is actually Aaron with the beard but from the past. Oh, good one. I like that. That's my Aaron face. That is funny. Are your classes expensive? If you live in Los Angeles or New York, my classes are, are very average. I suppose if you live in the middle of the country where gas is 50 cents, then yes. My number one student, Aaron is my number one student. Thank you, guys. I, uh, I actually, we used to live together, and we used to work together uh, doing improv in Chicago, and Aaron actually took my class like 17 years ago, and then one of the biggest compliments that I've ever gotten is that people that took my classes in Chicago and New York actually signed back up and took it in uh, L.A. Well, can I say something about that? Sure. So, like, no matter what level of comedian you are, I see them all the time have a friend or somebody that they trust with their comedy instinct to watch their set and be like, what'd you think? Any notes? And Aaron is very keen on some really great notes. Like, you notice the f fault I had 17 years ago that I still have today. <laughs> <laughs> right? Where it's like right before I say the punchline, I look up and then I say it. And he's like, you either have to completely acknowledge that you're doing that or not do it. But it's also like just having somebody whose comedy instincts you trust watching can only help you build on your act and what you're presenting. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, sorry, brother. That's true. Don't do the thing with your eyes. <laughs> I focus on either not doing it or overdoing it before I do it. It's like, okay, that's a thing I do now, I guess. Do you have um, a Harry Carey impersonation? I do not. Hi, oh, guys. It's Harry Carey. That's not a very... No. It, was, it was okay. That's the same impression you do when you do a vagina voice. <laughs> That's exactly right. Hey, Carly, thank you very much. And guys, if you're not following me here, follow me here on Periscope for live comedy and follow Aaron. Aaron's Aaron M. Marsh. I am Aaron M. Marsh. Yep. How many potatoes does it take to kill an Irishman? Uh, I don't know. No, well, yeah, no, it's not good, as good as Will Ferrell. Is, is little Aaron... <laughs> I'm sure he loves that name. That's it, Aaron M. Marsh. I don't mind little Aaron. Okay, is little Aaron a full-time comic? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we all have survival jobs, 
you know, so my survival job is that I teach comedy and run the shit. But, uh, yeah. So I would say no. i say I'm, like, in the middle. You know, like, I'm somewhere in, like, a part-time comic, I would say. Is that too bad to say that? No. I feel like that's exactly where I'm at. Where it's, like, someone told me that, like, first you learn that's how cool, to Albert. be funny and, and that you get some kind of an act. Then you learn how to make money on the act. And then you learn to make have a living act on it. Yeah. Over the course of, like, 12 years. I can see that. Yeah. And so I would say I'm in the second part where I'm starting to learn how to make some money at it. Well, Aaron, what's your survival job? I work for a company called Cinespia, and they do film screenings. So, like, next month they're doing a bunch of romantic movies for uh, Valentine's Day. I install glory holes. With your drill penis. With my drill penis. What if I want to do comedy just for fun to overcome stage fright? Um, yeah, do it. Why not? I mean, not everybody takes my, my class as, like, a serious comedian. Some people just want to learn a new skill. Dakota, if you don't know what a glory hole is, I'm not going to tell you, and I'm hoping you're over Ooh, 18. don't Google that. Don't Google that. Yeah, that's not a good Google thing. No. You know what else isn't a good Google thing? What's that? Shits and giggles. <laughs> I wanted to look up a shits and giggles thing. Terrible idea. Do not Google. No. Sometimes I'll just punch in stuff and put .com after it to see, <laughs> to see if somebody bought the name. Uh, yeah, no, don't Google it. By the way, I hope everybody here is over 18, okay? We're, uh... But yes, the, the show for the four-year-olds today went well. I went to my daughter's preschool... And I, um, I taught them, I, I did some jokes, and, and then my kid did jokes. My kid, who's four, actually had a brilliant joke last night. She was listening to, we were listening to Obama State of the Union, and we were also practicing knock-knock jokes for the presentation. And she said, knock-knock. I said, who's there? And she said, progress. <laughs> did, did your kid kill it? She did kill it. She, she definitely killed it. Who's the other comedian? This is Aaron M. Marsh, Pete. How you doing, Pete? Good to meet you. There really are people that mop up common adult video booths. Might be a good survival. That's like that's like literally a survival job. Yeah, and you don't want to make the survival job feel like super survivalist. <laughs> you know, like I'm not trying to eat bugs. I'm not trying to clean up gross things. But if you don't mind that, and you have a show on TV, and you just made a million bucks, well, good, good for you. You too, Pete. Nice to meet you too. Like Andy Kaufman, where he worked in the diner, just bussing tables. He but you could know, have easily have had a mop and just gone to the theater. He could have gone to the theater. But I bet that for Andy Kaufman, it just made him feel normal. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to follow young Aaron now. Thanks, Albert. Well, bye, Albert. Man. Hope to see you soon. Right. Bear, Bear Gru... What's his last name? I don't even know how to say his last name. Is it true if comedian have a small penis? I don't know if it's true for everybody, but I have a micro penis. Um, Milton Burrow famously had a very small penis. Yes, very famous. I, uh, when I go to the bathroom, um, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you just make a mess? No, I can't. I just, you I, just I, don't? You I just can't, go in there I can't and you get pee. sad? My body figures out something else. I think my grandpa does that. Hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. Bear Giles. That's how you pronounce it. Yes, I know who Bear Giles is. He drinks his own pee. Ah. I drink his pee, too. The oh, other day it was right. huge. Dakota, it really depends on the day. What's today? It is Wednesday? Today. No, it, go, it actually depends on the day. Oh. Yeah. I blew my kid's mind today, by the way, by telling her that, because she loves I'm superheroes. I'm so glad you said mine. Yes. Uh, I, she loves superheroes. And so I explained to her that Thursday is actually named after Thor. Ooh. Which it is. And she was like, whoa! Now it's her favorite? Yes. You guys know Jack Mehoff? Uh, no. Can you tell me about Jack Mehoff? I think he calls Moe's Bar uh, every now and yes. then. Yes. Yeah. They're Simpsons. called starter penises for first timers. Ah. <laughs> starter penises. It's terrible. Nobody wants to start a penis. Key to living with a micro penis is keeping your pubes trimmed. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. See, I'm learning stuff too all the time. Uh, guys, if you're new here, follow us on Periscope. We do live stand up comedy here every day from World Comedy Studios. And coming up in the noon hour, we are going to live stream a motherfucking podcast. Brian Biancardi's Why Don't You Cook? Do you know who the guest is? No. I don't either. It's John Lennon. Ooh, John Lennon. I've heard of him. Yes. This is uh, Brian. Hey, Brian. Yo. What's going on, dude? Not much. So All right. Scoping. Not much. Scoping. Guys, welcome Brian Reniger. Hey, Periscope. Our resident genius. Yes, the John Lennon. That's right. So if your friend Jack needed help getting off a horse, would you help Jack off a horse? I would just jack off a horse for fun. I don't know why this dude needs to be involved in it. But sure, Michael Sarah. That's right. Huge anime fan. Cool. Can I be a comedian and joke about jerking off all the time? I guess you could. You'd probably 
be in the open mic circuit forever. Hardcore gamer. Cool. What does that mean afterwards? O T A K U? I have no it idea. It must be the game he plays. Or it stands for something. Is gamer name? Is that some kind of handle? Could be. I don't know. League of Legends. Legends he of looks high as fuck. Who? Him? <laughs> yeah. He didn't get a lot of sleep no, last night. No, I'm just tired. Yeah. I really don't get high. Right. Aaron? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pretend you know. Oh, yeah. Well, what I have been doing here, I don't want to ruin the secret, but um, people write GR and then the number eight for great. Mm. And I pretend like I don't know what they're talking about. And they spend like 10 minutes trying to explain it to me, and I simply don't get it. But then they write other things with eight in it, and I say it perfectly. That's funny. <laughs> I'm like, masturbate? Yeah, that makes total sense. And I'm like, GR8? Uh, that's oh, GR8. Yeah, that's that one. A license plate number. That one I don't understand. G GR8. I don't get that one. What day do you want to go to Disneyland next week? Oh, shit. Well, you tell me. I'm mean, kind of a pretty available schedule. It, it can't be Monday or Wednesday. I'll have to think about my schedule. I can't do Wednesday. But yeah, right. I can well, do any we, other day. We have to be here. Exactly. Yeah. And there. Yeah. Aaron does a, a podcast. I, I never not fuck up podcasts in Periscope. Mm -hmm. Aaron does a Periscope, which is also a podcast, actually, called uh, Any Questions? Any Questions with Aaron Michael Marsh. Once a month. So you, you guys should check that out. Tell me what happens to the Jew. I don't know what you're talking about. Ha ha. GR8 and then hate. So what's the GR8? Um, have you considered adopting little Aaron? Um, I already have a kid to take care of, so. But I'll tell you what, if, uh, if I, w uh, okay, let's be positive. When I, li when I win the lottery. Of course. Um, I'm hooking you up with a year's worth of cash so that you can just concentrate on comedy. Oh, thanks, man. You got it. Yep. Uh, purely to focus on getting high in video games. No, that is not what we're talking about. <laughs> And that's what they were saying, so I, was, I wanted to yes and them. Yes, no, Sorry. no. What, what about, we're going to do a podcast here soon. Aaron is one of our podcast techs. In fact, Ooh. he's going to go now and start hooking that shit up with, uh, Brian's with Brian. You want me to put the glasses on? Okay. I love the hat. Thank you, Jeep. Jeep. Jeep out girl. Comedy teacher ignored the joke. I might not have seen it. Guys, don't be so quick to get angry, okay? I, uh, I can't read everything, right? How to delete the third nipple? Surgery. Hey, Coastal Flow, what's going on? Sunglasses on fleek. Thank you, date. GR8, hate, and then mate. So what's the first one, City Cynic? You look great. Hey, thank you, dude. Hello, Renee. You doing any impressions? I will do any impression. I'm a fucking impression master. So if you, want, if you want an impression, just ask me. I'll do any impression you want. Just tell me the person. I'll, I'll do any impression you want. Great hate mate. Sure, that makes sense. Michael Caine. Hello, I'm Michael Caine. Paul Lind. Hello, I'm Paul Lind. Christopher Walken. Hello, I'm Christopher Walken. Boom. By the way, I don't teach impressions. Pablo Escobar. Hello, I'm Pablo Escobar. Hello, I'm Santa Claus. I was attacked by a naked homeless man, but I beat him off. It was a sticky situation. Wah, wah. I was with a Jew with an erection bumps into a wall. I don't know, but the answer will probably get you blocked. I'll kill it. Thank you. You kind of look like Jean Reno. Janet Reno? From, oh, from The Professional. Oh, uh... Oh, I, I know who you're talking about. I don't know his name. Hurts his nose. Okay, last warning, and then you're gone. Teens with these new slangs these days. I know, right? So, do Sean Penn making out with El Chapo? Uh, hello, I'm Sean Penn. You totally make my day. You make my day, Dakota. You make my day! Again, zing. Maybe I'm just missing it. Does look like Louis C.K.'s brother? I've heard that. Serious question. How much of comedy is delivery and how much is actual material? 50-50, dude. Uh, I would say that having a better delivery is more important than having material, but if you don't have great material, it's going to be hard to get up on stage for a long time, you know? Go ahead and make my day. Hey, Joe Hawaiian. There is a there's a balance, but you'll get away with more if you have good delivery and shitty material than if you have good material and shitty delivery. But you still need both. Is it bad to tell the audience a story is true? No. No, I don't think so. Did you hear Keanu Reeves wants to interview El Nino? That's funny. I'm not Irish, actually. I've been told I look Irish. 
that I have Seth MacFarlane's voice and I look like Louis C.K. So I got that going for me. I've been told I waxed my eyebrows, which is funny, because <laughs> why, why would I spend so much time on my eyebrows and then forget the rest of my face? What is a typical day at your school? Well, if you're a student, um, once a week you'll meet with me for three hours. Um, could be 40 degrees in my town. Is that good or bad? Uh, did I play role 300? That's funny. But you are ginger. That's true. Gingers can't do anything. Um, but then we also have a podcast studio. We have open mics. We have other projects. Uh, we have a writing room. So it really depends on like what you want to do. You can kind of do everything here. We're going to do shows on the weekend. Mike Epps, awful material, but great del personality, delivery. Okay. Yes, I'm Gandalf. Is there any subject which we shouldn't laugh about? No, I mean, whatever you think is funny, you think is funny, but it does define you as a person. I'm originally from an island. I'm an islander, originally, from an island in the Atlantic. Are you better at comedy or being a dad? Hopefully being a dad. John, you are. That's right. I'm from Long Island. Huh. Let's see. While I prefer tapes, I would prefer that you see these nuts. It is a Long Island. Can you recommend cheap housing in L.A.? Uh, where are you coming from, Dakota? Are you actually coming from London? Didn't realize the new comedy teachers or something. Yep, I teach comedy. What's your biggest crowd? Biggest crowd I've ever performed in front of... Here on Periscope, it's 3,400 people. Um, I did a brush-up class at UCB. I hadn't, I hadn't done improv for about 10 years. Um, I did one. It was fun. I teach at World Comedy Studios here in Los Angeles, but also everywhere all over the world through the internet. I think there's a tent city near USC. Oh, wait, Dakota, did you tell me where you're from? I might have missed it. If they ever make a Haggard the Horrible movie, thank you, dude. I hope you're a casting director. Can you get by with a dumb laugh post Seth Rogen? I'm not sure what that means. She said Texas. Oh, she said Texas? Um, LA is going to be... Well, it depends on if you're from city Texas or country Texas. City Texas, it might not be that big of a difference. Country Texas is going to be a big difference in housing costs. If you're from Long Island, do you have a long dick? Yes, my dick is nine miles long. My humor is laughing at medical things. What do you think of that? That's fine. You look like a baby made by Louis C.K. and Bear Bryant. I don't know if people are born with hats. Yeah, just listen to Whitney Cummings laugh. I like Whitney Cummings. Hey, has Mark Maron ever been in dick? I've not yet met Mark Maron. So guys, my name's Aaron Haber. I'm a comedian and a comedy teacher. I work at World Comedy Studios here in Los Angeles, and I teach comedy all over the world. Bill Burr's awesome. No, but I know people who open for him. Um, I, I know he actually does a bunch of mics in LA. Um, if you like stand-up comedy, we do live stand-up comedy every day. You should follow us here on Periscope. Do I think George Carlin's in heaven? It depends on if God's cool or not. Where are you originally from? Like your ancestors? I was told Russia, and then recently I've been told they might have been German, actually. So who knows? But you know, most likely European. Russians are just Russians, right? Ru Russians aren't Europeans, are they? Sometimes, you know, some things I'm smart and some things I'm not. I do think Ricky Gervais is funny, but he is hard as hell. Favorite comedian ever? Probably Steve Martin. Favorite British comedian? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I have to think about that one. Ever hear any Josh Blue? I saw him on uh, Last Comic Standing. Slavic. Got it. Thank you. What's up from Turkey, homeboy? Hey, Turkey. Hope you're safe with all the crazy shit going on over there. Russians are both European and Asia, but mostly Asians. I know that there are some Russians that are ethnically Asian, but I don't think that most Russians are Asians. That's like Azerbaijan, I think, right? Steve Martin, the jerk, best film. Yep, Slavic. I mean, European. That would make more sense to me. Crowd work, hot or not? Yeah, crowd work should definitely be something that a comic figures out. Carl's the best ever, in my opinion, not that my opinion makes a fuck. No, but you know what? We're just talking here, Bob, so that's cool. I mean, a lot of people agree with you. Do Americans like Jim Jeffries? Yes. And I like Jim Jeffries, too. I see a little Chinese in you. Is that a sex joke? I have had people before tell me, because I have almond-shaped eyes, that I might be Asian. Who knows? Maybe somewhere down the road I was Asian. Eurasian. European. Stop it. This isn't the bathroom. Hey! I was born a poor black child, yes. 
I'm looking at your profile picture. That might be true. Some of the Dudley Moore films were funny. Yeah, he was funny, but he wasn't... I mean, he did, like, sketch comedy and stuff. I don't know if he did stand-up, though. Do you play GTA V and get the hookers to give you head? I have not played GTA V. I'd like to. I have no sense of direction. So I get lost in those massive games. Chris Hardwick was so lame. I have to disagree with you there. Chris Hardwick is a genius. Honestly, are you Louis' brother? I'm not. I am not Louis' brother, but I am Santa Claus. Grandpa takes some naps. Not yet a grandpa. I'm hoping that my, uh, my four-year-old waits a while to have a kid. Welcome to World Comedy Studios, guys. The world's first online comedy club. And if you really want to hear a joke, you, you sound, your sound, are you straight or gay? I am straight. Uh, if you like comedy, we do comedy here every day. Like stand-up comedy. Like I present stand-up comics for you live on Periscope. Do I like Santa? Yes. There is no Santa Claus anywhere. Oh, shit. Someone is shooting at the cans. I don't know what that means. Hardwick was a singer dot, single dot. He was. And then he built a fucking empire. He's amazing. Do, 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 do. I'm rubbing it. I have been on TV. You belong in the Swiss Alps selling Alpine Lace. I would take that job in a second. Worst you've ever bombed? Oh, gosh. So many times. Do you guys add new talent? Just moved from Detroit. Oh, are you in L.A., Coop? If you're in L.A., come and do a mic. Even if you're not in L.A., come and do a mic. Thank you very much, dude. I'm glad you're following. We have a mic at 3 o'clock today if you want to come by. 8 o'clock at 9.30, too. Email me. From USC. See, I just moved here, so I don't really know where USC is. It, it is harder for comedians to laugh, I think. Do you prefer cocaine or heroin? Never had either. It's from Ireland, because every time I look at you, my dick is Dublin. That's funny. Ever had jokes stolen? Uh, not that I know of. When it was a young comedian acted in Birdcage... Comedian bombs that get 75 virgins. That's funny. Have you seen Silicon Valley? I've seen one episode. It's funny. Yes, I am Santa. Again. Big Avalanche. If I still mossing? Uh, is that a joke? Or... I just moved here about 20 years ago. Cool, dude. My email is on my Periscope profile here. It's Aaron at... Uh, the wor What is it? I have two now. Aaron at... WorldComedy.club Well, that's terrible. I hope they find those people. Um... Email me and come by for a mic today if you want to. This is Sparta. Yes, that is me. Do you audition for acting? Not right now, but who knows? I might decide to in the future again. I have before. I've done some work. What do you think about female comics, for instance, Amy Schumer? I don't like the... You look, I know that reality is reality, right? There are some comedians that have vaginas, and there are some comedians that have dicks, right? But as far as I'm concerned, there's no difference, okay? Comedian's a comedian. If you're funny, you're funny. That's, that's all that matters to me. And he talks about Paris attacks. If I were going to make jokes about the Paris attacks, it would not be about the victims or anything like that. If I was going to make a joke about the Paris attacks, it would be probably about how bullshitty, you know, ISIS is, that kind of thing. Watch John Oliver's response to the Paris attacks. Best answer, thanks. Thanks, dude. You look like you have an Irish-Jewish ancestry. I'm, I'm just ish. What is the deal with airline food? There you go. Some comedians have both. Hello, Caitlyn Jenner. Yes, Dakota. If people take your class and end up as funny as you, do you give a refund? And end up as funny as me? Why would I give a refund if it worked? Isis really hates croissants. Maybe. Well, Dakota is hot. Says, says Bob the Egg. Does anyone do airline humor? Never heard an airline humor joke. Finally, a man with a beard. Yes, Gary. I'm glad I'm here for you. Well, guys, you know what? We're going to go get ready for the uh, podcast, so I'm going to get going. I hope you all are following me, and if you uh, are interested in any of the shit we're doing here, classes, open mics, anything like that, uh, email me. My email is on my Periscope profile. It's Aaron at worldcomedy.club, and I will talk with you guys soon. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Bye-bye.